one thing again I would like to understand here is you want Indian entrepreneurs or businessmen or SMEs, you know, to go in Mauritius, to invest in Mauritius and, you know, take the advantage of globalization. That's one part. But at the other end, by any chance, don't you think that there is something in India which Mauritius can do? Like, for example, China has occupied the domestic market with the, you know, plastic toys and all, or a lot of electronic gadgets. So do you think something like that which Mauritius can also do in India? What prevents someone from Mauritius to develop its own brand, tailoring it to the consumer taste of a particular segment in India, not the entire population, but a small segment. Here, a small segment is a big segment for Mauritius, and come in and occupy that space. So there's possibility here. Of course, there will be a lot of investment that need to be done in terms of market research, in terms of marketing and promotion, and also distribution. You can have only one store. Now, you just think that you say, okay, you're going to sell it in Mumbai. To sell in Mumbai, you need multiple outlets. So that's one area. So definitely there's something there. The other area where Mauritius can make a mark is what, again, in the government side, on what they call the high fashion. Okay. We already have designers from Mauritius coming to sell high fashion dresses to Bollywood stars. So this is happening. Jewelry. Okay, we sit near Africa where there are a lot of diamond, everybody knows, and also semi-precious stones. There's nothing that would prevent somebody from Mauritius, a jewelry maker, special design, that would meet the needs of the Indian people. Again, a small segment, and I would say the high end. So they say again, the Bollywood people. So there are opportunities. It will take time, but... This delegation that has accompanied the Board of Investment have already started talking to people and we're seeing opportunities here. So I hope that they will be successful and I'm sure they will be. So we have talked a lot about the opportunities and of course the relation which is very strong between India and Mauritius. But still if you could some, give us some sense that why India or why any other countries look at Mauritius. Of course now there is a you know, Africa as well which can be a route you know, to invest in Africa through Mauritius. But still what are the major sectors and what are the areas where you know, government or Indian companies can go and invest in Mauritius? Okay. That's a good question. Thank you very much for that. You give me the opportunity to tell your viewers why Mauritius. Okay. Mauritius is Africa, and not Africa at the same time. We're in Africa because we're very close to Africa. We belong to the African uh, community in, in various instances. Also, when I say we're not Africa, because we are in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And the population of Mauritius, as you know, majority, of Indian origin, so Asian in a certain way. So in fact, we are what I would say Afro-Asian or Asian-Afro, depending how you take it. Okay. Well, today we think that a new age, a new era of being the key of the Indian Ocean is happening. Why? Because a lot of raw material can be found in Africa, as you know. You know mining resources, agricultural products with time. Asia needs this raw material, needs the energy, oil and gas, and with time, once Africa can produce it, Africa will be feeding us in Asia. So anyone who wants to tap into the potential of Africa has to be in Africa now, or it be too late. Now, at the same time, when you look at Africa, many people say, look at Africa if you're far away, particularly if you're in Asia, or you're in the US, or even in Europe, Africa seems to be an unknown, in the sense that, you know, when you read the paper, what is it about Africa? You know, f a natural uh, disasters, crime, political uncertainty, etc. Mauritius offers a place where it's safe to be to do business in Africa. We have a stable democracy, since our independence in 1968, there have been four prime ministers, so which means prime ministers can lose election, so they change our government. And the democracy has operated very well because this change of government has happened without any trouble. Okay? But interesting enough, each new government that has been in power have not altered what I call the economic strategy. Of Mauritius. So you have predictability in terms of the economic environment in Mauritius. We have also independent judiciary. So, and in case you're not happy with the judgment of our Supreme Court, 
you can make appeal to the Privy Council of the UK. So that should give comfort to people. We have strong institution in terms of regulated regulation. We have central bank that is very, very, uh, no, uh, very good in terms of supervising the banking sector. We have the Financial Services Commission. We have our tax revenue. It's there, mm. and also the people of Mauritius. We have a vibrant private sector mm. who are willing to partner with foreign from with foreigners to operate in the domestic market and to go into Africa also. So we have all the ingredients, if you want, that Mauritius can offer to a global company, particularly to an Indian company, that if they want to do business in Africa, you can set up what I call your regional office for Africa, and then from Mauritius, overseas all your operations there. So that's something that I think could be offered to your people. Mm -hmm. You explained very well, and since you have the silenced agreement as well in your country, of course, it's easiest for uh, Indian companies to go in your country and establish their offices or start their businesses. But still, if talking about Africa specifically, what do you think, what are the opportunities are there for the Indian entrepreneurs? Huge. First, the Indian entrepreneurs, the Indian company need to go into what I call the extractive industry, the mining. Okay, You want to secure your coal, for example, coal supply, there's coal deposits there. You want to secure your iron ore supply, there's opportunities there, and other non ferrous uh, commodities, that's one thing. Second, you want to start putting what I call a pole or flat on the ground in the agricultural sector. You have one of your uh, company here, I think it's Kanaturi mm -hmm. Roses. Yeah, yeah. He's very big in roses in Ethiopia, in Kenya. I think they have at least more than, maybe around 15% of the global market for roses and this is a supply from Africa. Yes. Okay, there are other companies that are involved in the agriculture sector, so you want to be there. Infrastructure development. Your companies need to be there. You know, building dams, building power stations, building roads, building water treatment, wastewater treatment huge opportunities, public transportation, railway system there, and also what I call the consumer market. Africa as a whole is a potential market of at least minimum 600 million to maybe 1 billion people. Maurice and Bangalore, we are going to take a little break. हम बात कर रहे हैं मॉरिशस के बोर्ड ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट के चेयरमैन मॉरिस लाम से सर देर इज वन एलिगेशन व्हिच इज पुट ऑन मॉरिशस ऑलवेज अबाउट द टैक्स ट्रीटीज एंड ऑल वन क्लेरिफिकेशन आई वुड लाइक टू हियर फ्रॉम यू इज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम स्पेसिफिकली इंडियन डिपार्टमेंट टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट एंड अदर कंट्रीज ऑल्सो यू नो से दैट मॉरिशस हैज बिकम अ रूट फॉर मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग फॉर द थर्ड पार्टी प्लेयर्स हाउ वुड यू लाइक टू क्लेरिफाई ऑन दिस वेल आई एम ग्लैड यू आस्क मी दैट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ आई यू मेंशन एलिगेशंस यू नो आई थिंक वी हैव बीन गिवन एन अनफेयर ट्रीटमेंट in the press here. Now, Mauritius government is very serious about upholding the reputation of Mauritius as a sound and well-regulated financial center and business center. You know? And you might be aware, I don't know whether your, your viewers are aware, but Mauritius government and the Indian government are working very closely and collaborating in terms of exchange of information. So if there's anything that the Indian government suspect, they can easily raise it with their counterpart in uh, the government of Mauritius, and the two governments will work to investigate. Right. Uh, so two small questions here. Since you are going to renew the treaty with India very soon, are you going to make some changes because of this? And also, since merger and acquisition is one of the specific area where, you know, these money laundering things, or, you know, the tax evasion takes place. So are you looking at that segment very seriously? Well, you know, uh, I'd like to inform your, you, your viewers that there are, it, there's a team constituted of members from the government of India and members from the government of Mauritius who are working on looking at the treaty. Okay. And going ahead, uh, if, you, if I could ask you, just give us some outlook of Mauritius for five years. What are your policies? What are your plans? We see Mauritius, you know, operating more and more on an open, in an open economy. So we want Mauritius to welcome foreign talent, foreign capital, 
and foreign expertise. Okay. The way we see Mauritius evolving is that we're going to have still, and that's very important, we're going to still have a manufacturing sector. Of course, the manufacturers, manufacturing sector will be more higher value added activities. We're seeing the services sector, uh, not only financial services, but we're seeing education, healthcare, I mentioned earlier. We're seeing also more and more involvement with Africa. So we're seeing like offering our expertise and knowledge to African countries. And we're seeing Mauritius becoming the place to be if you want to operate in Africa. And hopefully we see that, you know, right now our per capita GDP is about 8,000 US dollars. Well, if we triple that, why not? So we want to move. You know, the vision of government is to move Mauritius from a middle income country to a, what you call, high income country. Wonderful talking to you, sir. Thanks for the insights. We wish you the best. So, this is Mr. Morris Lamb, who has given a lot of knowledge about Mauritius investment. Now, let's see, Zee Business, your advantage.